Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Flytrap store unboxing for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing it, stay tuned. The Flytrap store is located in Southern Missouri and run by husband and wife, Matt and Leah. I highly recommend them and I will add that they are one of my favorite online stores to purchase Venus Flytraps from. In this order, I purchased two Venus Flytraps and it took about four days for them to arrive. As I open the package, you will notice that this package contains additional padding to secure and protect your order from getting damaged during the shipping process. With your order, you will also receive an invoice and flight trap care instructions. Here are my Venus flight traps. As you can see, I ordered two bare roof flight traps. But if you prefer to receive a potted flight trap, you can select from the flight trap store soil mix or for it to be potted in long fiber sphagnum. And now let's fast forward to me struggling to release the flight traps. The first fly trap is called Cayenne. Cayenne has an exceptionally long neck or pedio connecting the leaf face to the trap. The second fly trap that I purchased is FTS Archangel. This is a deep red fly trap with a notable arch bag that produces small to medium cilia. And now it's time to repot my new Venus fly traps. As you can see, I'm rehydrating long fiber sphagnum moss and place a small layer of sphagnum moss at the bottom of my pot and continue to fill up the pot using a 50 50 peat moss and perlite mix. I will be reusing my skull planters, a bit broken, but it gives a character. This is also the third year I'll be using these planters, so that's why they don't look perfect. And now to repot my new fly traps. I will begin by removing the wet paper towel to expose the roots and the rhizome to prepare it to be potted. Here you can see a healthy plant. It has healthy roots, healthy rhizome, and the plant is starting to get the red coloration. And here is a closer look of the rhizome. And now it's time to place the flight trap into its skull tempter. I like to put a coat of peat moss at the top of my pots because I have a lovely relationship with perlite. Very important, don't forget to label your plants. Now to repeat the same steps for the second fly trap. Again, you will see the roots and the healthy rhizome. Cayenne had very long roots. And now we're gonna go ahead and place it into the skull planter. As you can see, this Venus fly trap has a very long pedio that can reach 2.5 centimeters between the trap and the leaf. These two fly traps that I purchased are some starter plants, but you do have an option to select a starter plant, young plant, young adult plant, mature plant, or a premium sized plant. But again, that depends on availability. Next, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my fly traps using distilled water to spray them. I'm going to go ahead and remove any dirt that could have gotten on the fly traps while potting them up. And also make sure to wet the media so that the roots make contact with the soil. I'm 
also going to rinse the skulls to remove the peat moss that got on them. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add distilled water to the tray and also I'm going to begin to slowly acclimate them before adding them to my collection. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. The information for these items will be linked in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.